Hey guys, it's Stacey and today I'm here to film my July wrap up. I read so many books in July and I'm so happy about them because I read some really awesome books. I also read some graphic novels in July so I'm really happy I read 12 books so let's get on to this since it'll be long. So the first book I read was a reread and that was City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, the third book in the Mortal Instruments and I bumped my reading down to a four star um, because I guess when I first read this I loved it or something. I gave it five stars and as more I think about it it's not my favorite thing in the world. The last three books are my favorite in this series but this was really enjoyable. I liked it a lot more than I liked the second one. I kind of hate the second one. It gets on my nerves. But this was a fun reread and I'm glad I reread it. And the next book I read has become one of my favorites and that is This Savage Song by Victoria Swab. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. This was so good. I had kind of iffy feelings about it going in. I know I like Victoria Schwab, so I don't know why I was so hesitant to read this, but I loved it. And I'm so excited to read the sequel. I just got it recently and so I will be reading that soon, but this was so good. Kate and August are great. If you don't know, this book is about a dystopian type world where there are monsters and these monsters are created from like heinous acts or like sins technically. And there's the Sunai, Corsai, and the Malachi and it's great. I highly recommend this. It's so, so good. And there's no romance in it. So there's that. And the next thing I read was actually a graphic novel and that is Monstrous Volume 1, The Awakening. And this was so good. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It was beautiful. It is on the longer side, but it is definitely worth it. I highly recommend this. Um, so, so good. And some of my favorite art is in this book. Like, it's so freaking beautiful. Like, it's a masterpiece. The next book I read was One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus and I gave this 2 out of 5 stars. I did not enjoy this sadly. I thought it was potentially very harmful um, for the mental illness rep and the uh, LGBTQ rep. It was not very good. Um, it could have been a good solid mystery if she hadn't tried so hard to make it something it wasn't and like the way she used mental illness in this was not the greatest. But this is kind of like The Breakfast Club meets Pretty Little Liars, kind of, even though I've never watched The Breakfast Club, but I know what it's about. So, you know, it's kind of like that. Four kids, four or five kids go into detention and one of them dies. And then all the blame is put on these four kids and they're trying to figure out who actually killed this. Now, the who done it aspect was very surprising because I didn't guess it until right towards the end when we learned it. So that was interesting this had potential but it wasn't that great for me but i will see about the author if she writes any more books in the future this next book i buddy read with literature reads and i will leave her channel down below we are buddy reading this entire series so we're reading one book a month and that is dark lover by j r ward and i gave this four out of five stars it was great i love smutty paranormal romances so this was good uh, this is a very popular series it's about vampires so yeah, this follows Wrath and Beth, and I really liked it. I really liked Beth as the main character. She was great. And yeah, if you like adult stuff, read this. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Next up, I also read another graphic novel, and that was Rat Queens Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery. This was so good as well. It lived up to the hype. Love the art. This is my favorite character right here. I think her name's Betty. She's so cute, and she's a little lesbian elf, and I'm like... I love her so much and this was just so cute it's a bunch of badass girls who are unapologetically themselves there is no you know ladylike and whatnot they're themselves they cuss they curse they drink they have sex and it's great and I love this so much the next two books I've read are part of the same series and that is Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer and Magnus Chase and the Thor of Hammer I read both of these I gave them both four stars I just picked the first one up on a whim and I read it in one day. I read this one in one day at work. I just kept reading it. I did not want to work. I just wanted to read this. And so I immediately picked up the next one. I'm so glad I finally read these because they gave me all the Rick Riordan feels I was needing. We get to see Annabeth in this and we get a mention of Percy in the second book. And my heart was so happy about it. But um, these are very diverse. This book you introduce a, a transgender um, gender fluid type character and one of the best characters in this book their name is Alex and I love 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 and Magnus is a great character too and I just I love these books 
so much and i guess i will read the trials of apollo eventually i don't know if i'm gonna like those as much i don't know how i feel about apollo yet so but i'm excited for the third book to come out in these and because they were just so good next up i read everything leads to you by nina lacour and i gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars i enjoyed this i just didn't connect with it like I wanted to. I wanted to really feel for these characters and I love the storytelling. I really like Nina LaCour's writing. It was just I didn't connect with it enough. I still highly recommend this because this is a beautiful story and it's written beautifully and it's about an open, openly lesbian girl about her friends and who she meets and an ex-girlfriend that she can't really get over but then she meets another girl and how she feels and she's like this isn't a coming out story. It, she's already an established lesbian and which I think is great because like coming out stories are wonderful but we need some of these and I really enjoyed it and I still highly recommend it. Next I read The Rise of the Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. It's the third book in the Descendant series. I am absolute trash for these books if you did not know and the Disney movies. Like I might be 19 years old but these movies are wonderful and these books are wonderful. They're so much fun. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't like it as much as I liked the second book in this series, but I still really enjoyed it. I don't think I liked it as much because we followed um, the villains more, and I liked the first cast of characters, first four original OG people who we followed in the books. But it was still amazing, and these books are so pretty. Um, we meet a character named Uma, who is uh, the daughter of Ursula, and I really like that. I really liked her as a character in the movie. It was, it was really good, too. I've already watched Descendants 2. My heart was very happy about it. I cried a little bit, so I'm trash for these books. The next book I read was Swarm by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah Bencotti. This is the second book in the Zeros trilogy. I don't know if it's a trilogy about superpowered humans. This is the second book. Um, I gave this three out of five stars. I, I gave it three stars because something in the ending happened. I did not like it because I love the first book, but this one, the ending. The ending was not for me. I didn't like how it ended. There's one character something happens to and we get no explanation on it. So I'm ex I'm expecting the third book to give me explanations of why what happened to my favorite character happened. So, yeah. And the last book I read was Dance with the Devil by Sherilyn Kinney. It's the third book in the Dark Hunter, Dark Hunter, Dark Hunter universe series. A lot of books in the series, but this follows Zarek and I gave this 3.75 out of 5 stars. Was it my favorite one so far? Um, Fantasy Lover is still so far my favorite that I've read out of these books, but of course I still loved it. I liked and loved Astrid and Zarek's romance and everything in between. And I just, we got to see so much Simi in this book. And if you've read any of these, you've read The Chronicles of Nick, which a lot of people haven't. But Simi is one of my favorite things in the whole world. And we got to see so much Simi in this book. So that is it for my wrap up this month. Comment what you read this month. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.